friends, it's been a little while. Um, yes, I am in bed. Let's do a reading. Um, please remember that this is a general reading, as all of my readings are general, and it is also timeless, as all of my readings are timeless, because energy is not linear. Um, and a general reading basically means that there might be messages, little bits and pieces of messages for several people. And um, thank you all for all of your support and your likes and comments and subscribes. And if you haven't already subscribed, please feel free to join the party and do so. Let's just jump right in. And this is the highest white light. What is the scoop? What's going on? <clears throat> all right, we've got the Knight of Cups in the reverse position. And sisters, what else? Emotionally sloppy messages. What else, spirit? Okay, well, we've got the six of wands in the reverse position as well. They're not going to be victorious, okay? We've got the tower and the world card also. So I feel like this, whatever, whoever, somebody's trying to come in and they're trying to... Um, I think um, it'd be like an emotional vampire, a psychic vampire, or something like that. But they're just—they're just going to create kind of an emotional, like chaotic situation. Um, but it's only like I feel like fucking with their karma, um, and they're not—they're not, they're not going to be successful. So it's going to end up uh, turning into a tower moment, um, basically where divine intervention comes in and is like. <laughs> Here, sit down, learn this lesson, and it's in a way that they're not going to like it. What else, spirit? Okay, so we've got the four of pentacles in the reverse position. I feel like the message is um, keep your heart open, okay? Whoever this is, they have a victim mentality. Um, we've also got the two of swords here, too. So you might want to block this person, or if you know who this person is, you might just want to like make sure that you get really, really grounded before this person comes in um, because they are going to come in with an emotionally sloppy mess or a message and um, you know playing the victim and and they're going to want to try to affect you in some way okay but we've also got the nine of swords in a reverse position so to me that says that it's not going to work I feel like you have evolved so much that um, that these things don't phase you as much as they used to, okay? So, um, but it's important right now for you to keep your heart open. I think um, you're going through, yeah, we've got the Three of Pentacles here, so that's the card of apprenticeship. I feel like you're starting something new. You're, um, you're, um, like, not a dark night of the soul, but you're, you're like glowing up, okay? Um, probably uh, more sensitive, um, receiving clearer downloads from spirit, you know, um, connecting with your divine path. Um, Ten of Swords in the reverse position. Yeah, they're going to try to stab you in the back, essentially. They're trying to get in the way of your, your progression um, and, um, you know, coming into your light, but it's not going to work, okay? Um, what about spirit? It could be male or female. Um, it could be a parent. It could be an ex. This is what I'm gathering. It could be an ex-boyfriend or it could be... Um, a, a mother. It could be either, honestly. It could be a parent or it could be like an ex. Okay, that's what I'm gathering. Um, but take what resonates. It could be a friend. It could be a, you know, whatever. Um, front of me or something like that that's what they call them okay so we've got the six of cups so yeah somebody is just like basically not taking accountability for their actions and I think that they're like beating themselves up but they don't take accountability for their actions so they're actually like they they're putting that onto they're projecting that onto like you okay so you know who this person is like whoever you're thinking about right now that's probably who the person is okay so just be really careful like the next time you see them make sure that you um 
ground really, really well. Yeah, they're trying to keep you in a cycle and they're gonna run into some really bad luck if they continue to do this, okay? Because you're divinely protected and um, they need to like just stop fucking with you. We've got the death card in the reverse position. So <clears throat> that's pretty serious. Um, obviously the death card in the reverse position can indicate illness, but it also indicates just like a fucking stop to something. So spirit's gonna make something happen. If this, if this continues, spirit's going to make something happen so that they cannot continue this. Like whatever that is, it's just, it's gotta fucking end. I, I feel like this reading is just like spirit's sick of it. <laughs> and it's like, we got you back, don't worry. Okay. Okay. So I feel like right now what I'm hearing is that, um, yeah, whoever this is, this person's not very good with money. I feel like you might be feeling, so I feel like you're an empath who has been like feeling their feelings. So I just want to make sure that you know that, and, and the thing is too, also with like grounding, and remember who you were before you met this person, okay? Whoever needs to hear this message, like, you will know. But, like, um, I feel like Spirit is trying to tell me, to tell you that, like, okay, we're dealing with somebody who is a narcissist, we're dealing with somebody who is a psychic vampire, somebody who creates an emotional attachment, um, just somebody who it does not feel comfortable with taking accountability so they're not like reaching new heights and new levels of um like their spiritual awareness like you are okay so but really basically i feel like whoever you are whoever this is this message is for um you're an incredibly sensitive empath and basically spirit is just trying to tell me to tell you that um i feel like you are or have been feeling their energy in order to understand their energy in order to understand how to deal with their energy and don't get stuck in their energy okay and remember who you are okay because you are not them i hope that makes sense to you guys okay just you know sometimes when we're you know as an empaths we can get lost in other people's feelings and we can forget who we are and it's just really important that you you don't do that okay remember who you were before you met this person remember who you are um and you know make sure that you do that before whoever comes in so we've got the queen of cups in the reverse position so I, did, I definitely feel like this person is just trying to like emotionally drain you um what else and we've got the death card in the reverse position again this is some serious shit you guys like spirit is not like like, spirit saying, like, your heart is not going to get hurt. Like, this person is not going to hurt you anymore, okay? And we've got the five of wands in the reverse position. There's not going to be any more fucking fighting. That's what spirit's saying. So spirit has got your back. You just need to make sure that you stay grounded. Um, and you might even be sensing this. You might even be feeling this coming on. So you might be experiencing some, I don't know, like, anxiety or something like that. And that might be them kind of, like, looming in or, or trying to you know, see when they can kind of come in. You might be feeling that. Um, and this might be what it is, okay? So I feel like, yeah, just be honest with yourself, okay? You, um, you're a good person, you're an honest person, and just remember who you are, okay? And there's nothing wrong with communicating. I'm hearing that that is a message for someone. Um, but you know what? It's It's not good to communicate when there isn't like any type of resolution that's being figured out. You know what I mean? And I feel like whoever this person that is trying to come in, um, that's not what they're coming in for. They're not coming in to solve a problem or they're not coming in to like, you know, they're not coming in to fix anything or make anything better or do anything useful. They're just, they just want attention <laughs> really is what it is. Um, good or bad in a good or bad way. So watch out for that. Okay. Yeah, whoever this person is, they're just not on your level, and they are, I think, um, like, as you're reaching new heights, what I'm hearing is that um, it makes them feel uncomfortable, and they're trying to hold you back, so don't let them do that. And honestly, Spirit's not going to let them do that, okay? They have, like, 
the death card in the reverse position twice. They've also got the wheel of fortune in the reverse position, which indicates some bad luck. They've got judgment, like they've got the six of wands in the reverse position too. Like they're not gonna, it's not gonna work, okay? Um, and now we've also got the world card. And the world card to me indicates, first of all, the end of a cycle. So this is the end of a cycle that's coming up, okay? And um, again, I've got the Knight of Cups in the reverse position. So that's the card that we started off with. The world card also indicates to me from my spirit guides that this reading is over. I hope that it resonates. I hope that it helps in some way. And, um, you know, just stay grounded and stay well. And I'm sending you guys so much love. And until next time, bye guys, bye.